In this lesson, we're going to learn how we can play multiple videos at the same time using split screens. So this is the last window on the menu bar right here, and it's called the split screen. As the name suggests, it allows you to have multiple uh, footage playing at the same time in different parts of a screen. So we can play maybe an image, a video, and a GIF side by side, all playing at the same time. We can have different types of footage play at the same time, and it will be great for, let's say you want to create a montage of your recent trip. If you want to do a tutorial and want to show different parts of the screen at the same time, let's go ahead and explore this window. We have a favorites tab as always, but we don't have a default and a film stock option, which we did for all the other windows. For this one, we just have the included things. And if you click on included, we have a set of items that you can choose from, a set of styles. We have things that have graphics with them and things that don't have graphics with them. So the way this works is that you just click and drag this onto your timeline and then drag videos on top or images. As soon as I drag this on my timeline, Filmora opened my media window and I can just go ahead and Let's get some sample videos. Click and drag it onto either box. So this video is playing in this box and I want to see if I can get a sample color. Let's put this checkboard image onto the second box. And so now I have these two playing at the same time. Let's play this back just like that. And we have some other options as well. Let me just uh, hit Control C or Command Z. I'm going to hit OK for now, head over to my stock media and import something so it goes in my uh, my media window. Let's get the spare video and maybe a GIF as well as some pictures. So we have three types of media. Let's add another video. And then I'm going to delete all of these, double click on my Apple style split screen, head over to project media and now all of them are there. You can also import things from your uh, computer or uh, import from your external drive and instant cutter tool. I'm going to drag this video on the on box number two and this one on box number one. So I can have something like this. Let's hit OK. Now I can play this back and I'm getting two videos playing at the same time. Not only can you put videos in, you can also put images and other types of media. Let's double click again, drag this GIF over here and this image over here. So we have a GIF playing and a image playing. The GIF stops playing after it finished. So you would have to readjust your uh, split screen to the end of that video because we cannot extend GIF files or video files. If it were both images, you could, but we have a GIF in there. Let's put just images. Just put this twice. And I can go ahead and extend this for as long as I want. The images won't uh, change because it's one frame. But with videos, let's put something this video is long, but if I go after a certain time, it should uh, just freeze. There we go. So over here, you can see it's not moving because we've reached the end of the video. No matter how much I stretch this, the video will remain frozen. This time I will get this paper one. Drag this onto my timeline and now I have three spots for my videos. Head over to media. Let's add the bear video. Uh, this flower video and this um, picture. So let's say I have this placed in, but it's way too zoomed in or way too zoomed out for me. And I just want to readjust it. You can do that by clicking once on that box. So if I click on this bear right now, I can get these things. And these options affect the audio, the scale of the video and some other properties. So if I hit this guy, I'm zooming out. If I hit this guy, I'm zooming in. You can click and drag this box if you want to see it. Drag the slider and you get to choose how zoomed in or zoomed out you want your video to be. 
Apart from that, you can adjust the audio. If your video has audio, you can mute it right over here because we don't have the video tracks separate over here. So you would have to do it here and you can delete it just like that. We also have the properties. If you click it once, you're going to get the advanced split screen edit where you get to look at your tracks separately and you can just maybe get your playhead, skip through, see if everything's okay, zoom out or zoom into your timeline, skip through like this as well. And we can go over here, maybe change the media if we'd like. Let me put a gradient instead of this. There we go. I can change it as I like. Go to video, I can still use the uh, options we had for regular video. So I can maybe, let's go on this one. I can maybe rotate my video, flip it, scale it in or out, which we could also do by clicking on it once. Scale in or out, and maybe if I did scale it, I can use position X and Y to make this better. So position Y, position X. For example, the bear video, we're not seeing the second bear, so I can use position X to just bring it a bit to the side. We have the stabilization. So if you have the shaky footage in one of these split screen boxes, you can turn on stabilization to make your video less shaky. We have chroma key, which we'll learn about later. Lens correction, if you have an action cam video or a video that has some sort of distortion, you can turn on lens correction. You can add drop shadow. And of course we have auto enhance, which will automatically fix your video in terms of lighting. You can see how it kept more contrast before, after. You can adjust the amount right over here. You can adjust the audio if you'd like, the volume, the pan, and the fade in, fade out. We don't really have an audio for this video, but you can adjust the pitch, fade in, fade outs, uh, add an equalizer, remove background noise, and all the other things that you would have for a regular video over here. You can adjust the color, maybe fix the temperature, make it warm or cold, uh, change the tint. And let's reset this. I can now use this eyedropper tool that we saw in the previous lesson to show the brightest part on my video and ask Filmora to adjust the white balance based off that point. So for me, the brightest part would be maybe this. Click on it and you can see Filmora made it a little bit warmer. This was before, this is after. And if I want to adjust this to my liking, I can still grab the sliders and fix it to get something that I'm happy with. We have tone where you get to, let's turn this off, where you get to adjust the contrast, the saturation, and the brightness. You can also add a 3D LUT if you'd like. We also have animation where you get to animate the video, add some keyframes if you'd like, or put one of these so it fades in like that. Go to preset motion, maybe put this one. And you can see once we click these, we have keyframes now. So if the entrance animation is too slow for me, I can shorten the distance to make it faster. You can also create your own keyframes as we learned. Let's go ahead and move in a few frames, make a keyframe right here, and then around here, make it rotate like that. If I play this back, I have this animation. Once you're finished, you can hit OK, and now it's applied to your video. All right, let's go ahead and get another split screen, track split screen seven. And this time I'm going to add things that would require me to put lens correction and stabilization so we can see how that works. I'm gonna hit okay for now and head over to my stock media where I can get this bubble video that we used for one of the lessons. Let's see if you can find a GoPro video in Pixabay. And yeah, you can get any of these if you'd like. Let's try one of them. I will get this video where we have 
where we have a car ride and as you can see there is distortion in this video. So I have a video that needs stabilization and a video that needs a lens correction. For the third video I'll get a flower like this one and we can maybe slowly zoom in onto it using the keyframes. So once I have them on my timeline they're going to show up in the my media tab. As you can see they're all here. Let's go ahead and delete all three. Double click on split screen and just click and drag them into each box. So if I play this back as it is, we have this animation, but we're getting different things that we need to fix. Now I can head over to the advanced tab, select my first video, which is the GoPro video, head over to video, and we're going to turn on lens correction. I chose this GoPro, this resolution, and adjust level is to negative 100. And now this was a before, before the lens correction, this is after. Let's move on to the next video that needs stabilization. Turn this on, make sure you have the video selected. Turn it on and Filmora is going to analyze the video first. Make sure it's on reflect, maybe remove from the smooth level. There we go. So I'm going to stick with these settings. This is how it was before. Let's turn this back on and take a look at after. All right, so now let's head over to our third video and fix it up as well. The third video doesn't need fixing, but I will be going to the animation so I can change it up. Head over to the start, add a keyframe. First, let's bring the video in. So I'm going to add a keyframe right here, right here, select it, and then move to the end of my video right before it disappears to scale in to my video. Use position X and Y to make it, uh, bring it in the center. And now I have this animation. It's slowly zooming in. So you can use split screens with videos that need fixing and with videos that don't need fixing. We took a look at both of them and you can see how easy it was to manage split screens. Head over to this one, uh, split screen, and then we have Instagram. Let's get the photos, put this here, put the other one here, and the third one there. Let's uh, change the scaling. You can also go back into the uh, advanced settings to change position X and Y, which I need to do that. So go to advanced, head over to video to change the position X. It says video, but this is an image and I just need to change position Y. Maybe focus on this pyramid. Go to this one, bring it down a bit. There we go. And the same for this third image. Now I can go ahead and adjust the colors of these images. Let's head over to color this time. I'm going to make this image black and white. Head over to tone, bring down the saturation, and now it's black and white. For the second image, I will get a 3D LUT. Let's try this. Got rain. And the third image, let's attempt to make it purple. Now I have my travel photos in one place. Now not every uh, split screen has an animation. Some of them don't. So like this one, as you saw, it just appears. You can go ahead and add a transition from here to make it more interesting. Play this back. There we go. Maybe I can add an element on top. Double click to scale it. Put it here. Uh, put something else on top, double click, place it somewhere, visible, and then we can just play this back. And there we go. Again, you can add transitions on top of elements. Just make sure they're not full screen transitions or else it will look like this. That's not nice. So you want to get one of the basic things that will only affect the element alone. Play this back and now the uh, element is just showing up in a nicer way.
And now that we learned all about the windows up here, we can go ahead and learn about the more advanced tools of Filmora.